Okay. So last time uh, you guys had been asking uh, the Jinborn more information about the Wanti city. Uh, population, uh, uh, military uh, makeup if possible, about the leader themselves, where Anith may be staying. Uh, they were able to provide you with a pretty detailed map of the city, um, though they've never really been in the city in the city themselves proper, they they were able to give you like general locations and where you know, certain things would take place, like where the residential areas were, where the temple was. Um, surprisingly enough, you guys found out that the city itself, the population, is about about three hundred thousand ish. Uh, which was a lot larger than you guys were expecting. Um, you guys went over a couple plans on how it would be best to probably infiltrate the uh, city proper, uh, the temple itself, uh, probably leaning towards capturing maybe your pure blood denizen of the temple and uh, questioning them. Uh, the, when asked about, you know, areas which would be safe, uh, for, uh, sleeping near the city, uh, Najra came up. Najra is a area where there are seven guardian Naga who rule the region, and they, tip, they do not interact with the city of scales, um, in 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 quite in honesty, they do not care for the Wanti themselves. Um, the party decided they'll camp there for the night, and if maybe if possible, maybe try to uh, gain an audience with one of the Guardian Naga, and maybe get some help with trying to get into the city. The so you guys took a trip. Uh, to the Black Cloud Forest, which is the forest that is, surrounds the City of Scales. And you guys happened upon a group of kobolds that were excavating in some ruins. Uh, you guys spoke to the kobolds, they brought their lizard folk leader Bashra, who passed on the message via kobold messenger. Uh, that you guys were looking for an audience with one of the Guardian Naga. Uh, not too long afterwards, you guys were given that audience uh, with a Guardian Naga by the name of Amba. Amba was able to tell you a little bit about uh, the city, um, more, more, um, she was able to tell you that there would be an entity that would perhaps be able to help you uh, by the name of Pilithith, uh, a Sharuk, a once Sharuk ruler of the region who has been dormant for many, 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 many years, uh, who is currently uh, in the burial mound nearby, surrounded by his former consorts turned wraiths as guarding his tomb. Right. Um, so you guys traveled to the burial mound. Uh, you had just entered a tunnel. Shillin uh, is going to stay outside because she don't want no part of this. And that is where you guys find yourselves. So I am going to switch you to the map. On the map. Friendly reminder, we have... On the map. Uh, on the map. Crap, what is it? Hero's Feast? Yes, mm -hmm. oh, Hero's Feast. So. On the map. Alright, so this is the tunnel you guys are in right now. There we are. All the way to the south. Yep, all mm. the way to the south. Um... In front of you, uh, and it is pitch black in here, so... Drag our butts on the... Yep, uh, I will drag Ronnie's token over. I got it. Okay, got cool. It. 
fairly sure Ronnie has the light cantrip. Yep. So do I, if that's really necessary, but most of us have dark vision. Okay. So there is... Uh, you, you guys heard me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is a door, uh, right, a, double, a large double, uh, set of double doors right in front of you. Uh, they look like they are made of some kind of metal from your standpoint. Rain, you want to check for traps and stuff? Yep. Um, I think Melanie was behind Rain, right? Yeah. Yes. Melanie was going to go first, and then... No, Rain was going first, then Melanie, then us two. Yep. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go up to the door, looking along the way for, you know, the usual pressure, uh, pressure plates, uh... You know, runes, weird shit, and look for traps uh, on along the way and on the uh, door itself. Okay. Um. So, uh, give me an investigation check, please. Actually, you know what? I'll go in the back. Um, Ronnie can go. Uh, in the middle. Because I just remembered that. Um, I rolled for uh, myself, but it was a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, I was concerned about. Never mind. Clerics being too far away and whatnot. Okay. Uh, so, Rain, you are walking up and you're checking for traps, pressure points, arrow slits, um, things of that nature along the way. Um, you get to the set of iron doors and you're checking traps for that. Uh, the set of uh, doors are, yeah, like I said, made of iron. Uh, they are very beautifully intricate in their design um there are carvings in the door itself of many depictions of different types of serpents um laid out in beautiful patterns uh it it's it, do the serpents look like just like naturey do they look aggressive do they look peaceful um you have dark like noodle <laughs> there are many. Venom. So first of all, there are many danger noodles depicted on this door. Gotcha. Yeah, there's so many danger noodles. Um, and it, it's it's funny enough that the danger noodles actually carved into the door are depicted in ways that they make designs. For example, like a couple bunches of danger noodles would be depicted as a flower. Some de de are twisted into geometric shapes. Um, it's, as, as for, like, if the, the snakes look aggressive or not, they look neutral, uh, for the most okay. part. So it's not, like, aggressive stuff where it's all, like, fangs and maw and venom and, like, Mrah! No, no, no. Okay. It, it's, it's, it's... All from <laughs> <laughs> It's, um, it's, it's a, it, it's more like this is a very decorative piece uh, of work um, of art and the overall tone of said piece of work of art is not of a violent aggressive nature is there a uh, obvious way to open it or uh, uh, there is, is there a push or pull no uh, if you're when you look at the like how the door would open it's this looks like a just kind of a, a pushing um, pushing door, like, push inwards. Uh, looking at the door, however, um, it looks like it is very heavy. Um, and you, with your very high investigation check, it looks like this door has not been um, opened in a long time. There is actually, you see some fungus over some of the hinges, show pretty much indicating, hey, nobody's been in here in a while, so things have grown over uh, the hinges. But you do not spot any traps. I'll say back to the group. I don't see anything. Certainly nothing physical. I 
doubt anything magical, but you know, that's not my area of expertise. I think it's safe to open, but it's going to take a hard push. That might be loud. Well, that's Melanie's specialty, so. Would anyone care for me to do detect magic before we go pushing? Uh, sure. Why don't we take a ten minutes and go ahead and do that? And uh, Rain, what about those uh, funguses on the door? Are they any cause for concern? Um, let me take a closer look. Uh, I would like to do um, to make a check with my proficiency. Uh, it's probably still nature because it could be anything. Huh? I was gonna try to argue for like a potion kit proficiency or something. <laughs> Yeah, just do a like a nature nature check. <laughs> That's so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Poosh. Oh, not a good roll. I was just about to ask if you wanted uh, some bird inspiration, but never mind. Or my poor type okay. rolls. Um, no, it just looks like a, a variety of lichen that you would find. Um, pretty harmless. Just something that would probably grow over time in the in an area like this, especially since it's slightly damp in this tunnel. Yeah, it looks pretty safe, I think. Um, nothing, none of the normal indicators. Um, so these door hinges we see, like, is this door going to be really heavy to push? Or, since we're waiting here ten minutes, should I uh, get out one of my bottles of oil and oil up the hinges? Maybe to help or if um, not so loud. So once you decide it's not, um, you know, you don't see any traps. Uh, you just give it like you. You could like you know, try to like give a feel of the door like, just like yourself, just a you know a slight push, and you can already tell it's gonna probably take either several people or probably one really really strong person to push this door open. Uh, I don't mind uh, pushing the door open here in a minute. Do you do you think we should all uh, lube up? Before oh, we... I already did that. No, oh, well, uh, uh, and I just like start start pouring it on myself. However, I'm supposed to do this. I'm rubbing it on top of armor. I don't even know, like the mechanics of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, just... I better. I'm gonna use one too. That's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I used it before we even uh, while we were on our way here. I think because it lasts for eight <laughs> hours. I'm like, fuck it, <laughs> just in case. All right, cool. Uh, so, is Rose actually casting and we uh, should have at least one more, two more, I think. Yeah, I have, I have one more. Um, Ronnie doesn't matter. Ronnie has freedom of movement. Oh yeah, um, okay. Melanie should have, have one, one or two no, more. I have yeah. two more. Okay. Yeah, I would, have, I would like to have like scooched forward a little bit. Okay. Bef you know, before doing my ritual. Um, and, yeah. You guys lube up. Tilda's not doing anything besides this ritual. Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, so you take the ten minutes to detect, uh, to cast Detect Magic. Uh, did mm -hmm. you want to use it on the door? Or is yes. This for okay, cool. To see if there's magic traps or anything like that. Okay. We're not nervous or anything. Um, so you cast the cat magic, uh, and you don't think that it doesn't appear that there's any magic radiating from the door. Okay. Is it like a dead spot behind it because detect magic gets blocked by um, certain amounts of materials yeah it's pretty dead behind it okay no traps darling no magical traps but um i can't say what's beyond we'll try to make it through the next part quickly so we can make use of your spell uh melanie darling would you mind i I'm going to give it a shove. Okay. I was going to say, it's your oh, time to shove. Right. You, but you, 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 pretty, 20. You, pretty, you pretty much just <laughs> look at the door, <laughs> take a foot, <laughs> and just kick open the door. As soon as this door just jump out of the way. Door just, <laughs> yeah. doors, door, the door just fly open. 
and this yeah, is it what just you... sees it sees Melanie running at it, and it just screams as loud as it can, and it opens. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! All right. So this is what you see when you go inside. It is still pitch black. Uh, this room is rather rather cavernous. Uh, it is about ceiling. You'd wager is about forty feet from the ground. Um, these blue areas that you see are waterways. Uh, it looks like that the there is a platform built up, upon some type of water pool or something of that nature. Uh, there is. Does it look like the pool stops at the edge of the room we can see, or does it look like it keeps going under? And pass like an underground lake or river or something. Um, you'd probably have to step up and take a look clo- a little bit closer at one of the pools. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm that later. gif of Tom Hardy pointing up. That's bait. <laughs> so close. <laughs> um, just to let you know what you see immediately, uh, there is a very large uh, statue of what you can assume is a humanoid snake-ish person. Um, The entire person has, like, the snake tail um, and a very upper body that looks like it is a humanoid snake. It's not like, you know, the half-bloods where they're part snake, part human. This this person is completely serpentine. Uh, They're... Looks like there are, or the remnants of uh, eight statues, uh, four on each side, uh, on the left and right. It looks like a couple of them are in uh, different uh, states of uh, ruin. Uh, Some look like, you see there are piles of rocks where there probably once was one, but something had happened. Um, there are a few that, you know, the head has just fallen off. Uh, a few of them, like the ones here, 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 and here, look from your standpoint where, um, I, I don't know who Regis is, um, look from your standpoint, like they are more or less, uh, in Oh, that it, oh Regia Ice. Uh no, not yes. Regia Ice. Not Regis. <laughs> not Regia Ice. Well, to be fair, I, I also as, as a person Regis. who's never played Pokemon, I was just like, <laughs> it took me a minute. I didn't I didn't um I don't think I played that generation. Um but <clears throat> let's Jesus see. Christ, you guys. Uh, the the one from the the largest statue in here, which is straight ahead, looks like it is like a few on the left and right side, is in pretty much it's you know a, still in a good state. Um, you will also notice, especially Melanie, who is at the doorway, uh, these walls. There are walls over here. Um, they go all the way up. But it looks like there is a platform near the top. But you like, but from your standpoint, you'd need to get like a little higher or like go to one side of the room to see if there's actually anything up there. But that's what you see at your standpoint currently. The um, the the room. There's no doors or anything that we are able to see currently, right? You currently do not see any doors. Um, it is kind of. Strangely enough, it's not very musty in here. It, the, 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 the room smells pretty pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. Unlike the tunnel. Uh, Tilda, uh, I believe that there is a uh, platform above us. Um, do you want to check it out? Or have one of us borrow your broom and check it out? I've got this. Um, so with, uh, detect magic still up, I will pop onto my broom and just... How far does detect magic go? 30 feet? Yeah. 
Um, does she see anything uh, glowing in this room in her 30 feet span? Uh, let me just... Yep, so that... No. Yeah. I'm not close enough to anything. Um, so... But it's good to know that there's no magic traps. Um, yeah, so I'll hover closer to, um, the trap, the, the, the door up top and see if there's anything magical that I can sense on it or behind it. Uh, the door itself? Uh, the trap door in the top. Yes. I mean, you're you're hovering, and you you see there is. Let me just review that. There is about a platform about thirty feet up. There, you do see two doorways, up here, here, and here. They're about so this wall extends up. Platforms about thirty feet up. Um. And it looks like uh, this solid wall extends all the way up, okay. up to 40 feet. Let me try to see if I can... Yep, doorway, doorway. Okay. So there's two. Yes. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah, so I will um, fly my broom... Do I see, do I see anything um, magical, like on the platform? Do I see any magic? Uh, you do not see any magic on the platform. Okay. How about? I'm just gonna hover out of. Um, uh, not on the platform, just uh. Like basically where I am, mm -hmm. and see is, is there anything magic uh, on the door or behind the door that I can sense? Maybe I don't know. Um, you don't. You don't. Uh, however, I need all of you to roll initiative because once you guys hover up to the platform, you till so especially you since you're very close. You do hear the sound of bones clanking together from which direction from this doorway oh and this doorway does she start having flashbacks of the bone naga like does it sound familiar <laughs> not that loud not that loud these are tiny so this bones. doorway and this doorway yeah you hear Great. sounds yeah you hear sounds coming from both doorways fucking fantastic um ah fuck hang on Well, that's not as bad as it could have been. Hey, Rain. What uh, uh, what kind of weapon are you thinking about using? Uh, well, right now I was probably looking uh, like my crossbow, but I don't know. All right. Okay. I'm just thinking about what to do with the <sighs> And where were these uh, scaly boys coming from? Uh, they're on the platform 30 feet above you guys, right around here and right around here. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so this <laughs> is, this is kind of like the top view. Um, of the map, um, if you're if you're looking out to the side, this wall extends up about thirty feet, and this platform is thirty feet above you guys. Yeah, up here. Gotcha. Yes, exactly. Um, and then, uh, 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 yeah. okay, cool. 
My good friend, Armor of Agathus. He come back out. I guess that depends on the initiative of everything else. <laughs> okay, so... And my initiative rolls are always mediocre at best. I got a plus five, man. <laughs> I can always use 22. lucky. Hmm? Yeah, I can always use no. lucky. Nah, I don't okay. Much. I have a couple books to open, so just give me a moment, please. It's always a good sign, right, guys? Yeah, yep. I think so. <clears throat> right. my other tab. I'm really sorry. <laughs> there it is. Alright. Sixteen and then Perfect. Okay, uh, Melanie, you are up first. Um, for those of us <clears throat> who can't fly, do we see, at just a quick glance, any ways to get up to the doors? Uh, what's your passive perception? Um, Unless you want to... 17. 17? 17. <clears throat> 17 passive. Uh, no. Currently, you do not see any way of getting up there through conventional means. Okay, okay. I am going to step in. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm actually going to like take my time and look around. Would I need to roll perception or investigation? Uh, roll! perception Fuck. well to answer your question from earlier uh the pools of water do seem to be running pools of water it seems like there is running water um underneath uh the platform so they're not stagnant uh mm -hmm. second of all uh you do not see any visible doors on the ground floor Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. And uh, now this fellow is going to come out. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, you're, and you probably see through that door, so I need to reel. I don't like that these are there. initials. It's scary. Alright. So. Unless it means, you know, GL is like good lad and SRL is seriously rad lad. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. Yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, stepping out from. Is that the. Sorry. Alright, uh, 
I gotta remind myself what little pictures I use for all of them. Alright, so not instant. Alright, that is it. That's the one I want to use. Alright, so stepping, well, floating through the wall. Of course. Uh, there is this individual. Uh, looks very serpentine in shape, but obviously does look like an apparition of sorts. Um, mm -hmm. It will go towards you. So it was five. So be Sneak there. wreath. Sneak wreaths. But why? Um... Uh, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. And it will, um, act, it will just take a, actually it will take a double move and be in your vicinity. Um, but that, why? But that, that will be its turn. So that is that. Um, the other entity that is in here, um, is going to so this is the yeah that is that other layer phase through this wall uh looks more like a, another snake like uh, entity except this one seems to have a staff oh fuck so it will um, point its staff at you, and there are two bolts of shadow that come out of it. Um, it is going to... So my first hit is going to be a 20 versus armor class. And it's doom. <clears throat> Against, against whom? Against uh, Tilda. Uh, 20? Yes. I will use shield. Okay. Uh, the next, the, the second attack will be uh, 25 versus armor class. Well, fuck. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. So that, this uh, frost bolt uh, comes at you. Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, only hitting you for... Where is that dose? Only. Getting a taste of my own medicine. Uh, 11 points of necrotic damage. Oh. And... Exactly. 6 points of cold damage. Well, 11 takes out all of my, uh... Um... Temporary hit points. Okay. And then... Minus 6... Okay, um, that is that entity's turn. Uh, it is Itari's turn. All right. So, if I five, ten, fifteen into here, uh, if I look up, do I see both of these things? Um, I'm trying to. Yes, from that angle, I think you will be able to. Okay. Uh, which looks the most threatening? Um, is this one? Is this the one that hit me? That's the one right that got close me? to you. This is this is okay, the one who right. hit you with the that's staff. That's the one that hit me. Yeah, right. that's that's staff bo uh, staff boy or girl. We or staff person, staff person, staff staff mm -hmm. wraith. We call it staff wraith. Um, they both seem. I mean, it's very hard to tell, especially since there's only one that has seemed to have attacked so far. Sure. I just wasn't sure if, like, uh... Oh, man, what am I thinking of? I don't know. One was bigger than the other or looked more oh. menacing, had, like, sharper spines or something. No, no, like, no, they're, they're, both, they're both about the same size. Okay, <laughs> uh, and they one. look uh, completely corporeal. They don't look incorporeal. Um, they... they floated through walls, man. Yeah, so they look incorporeal. Yeah. Well, I couldn't see them. 
They they look um, they, you you've had you've had experience with undead before, so they they definitely uh they definitely follow the uh the shadow wraithy motif. Sure. Okay. Give me give me one minute. I know you didn't see them float through the walls, but the fact that they floated through the walls should mean that they're incorporeal. Yeah. Uh, I think my hex is going to be intensely useless right now. Um, most things that are undead are immune to it. Hmm. By the way, since you've gotten a closer look at the wall, Tilda, since you're like right up against it, you notice that the mm -hmm. wall has beautiful carvings in it. Oh, that's nice. Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> Sorry. I was looking at Hold Monster. This spell has no effect on undead! Okay, never mind. Uh... You got two stabbers. I mean, she can't get to them, so... Yeah, I was gonna hold the... it to, like, set somebody else up. I was... Don't you have... Do you have the fly spell, Zai? No. no. Mm. I do. I can... I can bamf myself up there. That's not an issue. And I have range, so I'm not, again, worried about that. Uh, not that great against undead. That's the main problem here. Um... I think I'm gonna look over to um just to just to ask mm. for Ronnie since his uh, player is not here. Is there a spell that you can use to yeet a turtle up onto a platform? He has He's the cape of the mountain bank. Yeah, he He's fine. Bank. Oh, okay, okay. Or I could touch. Like, technically, I could have stayed there, or I could have him come over to me, hold an action, and then bam, us both up there. But it's fine. Okay. Um. I'm going to cast Greater Invisibility on myself. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go invisible. Um, but bef That's right. Right before I do that, um, I'm going to look at Ronnie. Um, give him a thumbs up and give him Bardic Inspiration. Um... <laughs> Because I can't think of anything right now that's fun. Uh, I'm just going to give him a yellow dot to signify that. And so, where's the where's the uh, all right? And then I'm going to move some more. So that was 15, 20, 5, 30, and 30. I can move 40 feet, but I feel okay here. Um, that is the end of my turn. Okay. Tilda. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, move away from this guy. Okay. I will take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, is my speed slowed because of what this guy did to no, me? Or... No, it's not. It okay. was not like um, your ray of frost. Um, okay. Yeah, it just... was just a frost ray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a shadowy frost ray. Ah, uh, yes. So this entity is this entity is going to try to claw you on your way out. Fair enough. Uh, that is a twenty-one to hit. Doesn't hit because I still have shield. Okay. Uh, it woefully misses. Mm -hmm. I will fly down to uh, Melanie. And use my action to cast fly upon her. <laughs> okay. uh, any uh, bonus actions? Give me a second. Fly! <laughs> um, with my bonus action, I will take out the wand of healing word and just uh, tap myself with it. Okay. Wow, that's what I get for being um, selfish, I guess. All right. 
That's that's why you don't put the wand up your nose when you're using it on yourself. <laughs> Ow. That, yeah, not that not like far, just like a little bit, you know. She's not giving herself a COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> Topical. Um, alright. So... Yeah, yeah um, I found out my test was done definitely wrong when they did mine. <laughs> they just put it, like, gently inside my nose. Oh no, it feels like it's touching your brain. <laughs> Yeah, like mine was you. not done correctly. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, um, I will say, uh, get up there as quickly as you can, darling. Okay. I can do that. Um. Uh, okay. That much movement is excellent. Um. This person is gonna go to the edge of the balcony. The skeleton. Hold on. Uh, can I also, because I was here, that's 30 feet, um, can I keep going? Yeah, if you're on your broom, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's 20 One, two, over there. Three, four. Just make right. sure. And then, yeah. perfect. So they'll land there. And I'm actually going to mark these skeletons with dots so we don't get confused. Yes. Because we'd hate to be confused. And then this... I cast fly on Melanie. Does that count? Uh, I just want to... I saw fly pop up and I figured that's what it was, but yeah. I just wanted to make sure. And then... 15. Give yourself wings, girl. Yeah. Diagonal of that guy. Alright. Um, they will take out their crossbows. And they will... Let's see. There will be... <coughs> one shot on Melanie. One shot on Zaitari. I'm invisible. Oh, you're invisible. One shot on Melanie. Uh, Tilda, are you in the doorway? Uh, kind of. All right, so I'll say you have half cover. Okay, I'll um, take it. And one shot from the guy next to Staffy Guy. So two shots on Melanie, one shot on Tilda, who has half cover. Mm -hmm. All right, so Melanie... I don't have shield anymore. Mine's at disadvantage, please. Okay. Uh, first shots. Uh, my lower to hit was a 25. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I. those are good dice. Um, and then for the second attack, yeah, that won't hit you, but the first one will probably hit you. Um, yeah. So... I don't know what that means. <laughs> Um, by the way, yep. I should have taken um, some damage from uh, this guy who scratched me when I, oh. I, I I didn't have shield anymore. I forgot that it ends at the beginning of your turn. Oh, that might complicate things. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, we'll 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 go through the damage first. Okay. You're going to see why it comp might complicate things. Uh, uh, 13 points of slashing damage. For me? Uh, no, no for, for me. For you, for Tilda. Oh. I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. Um, you know, instead of taking a chance here, I'll use one of my divination rolls, which is, I'll use the lower one, 18. Okay. Plus eight. my nine. All right, then you you're fine because you eight. feel the paralysis not take hold. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of figured that might be. Yeah. So, kudos. <laughs> um. All right. Now. So I will say, get up there as quickly as possible, and also avoid the paralysis, darling. <laughs> sure. Hmm. All right. So the first shot, uh, from the skeleton that hit the one that uh, was able to connect. Uh, that is 11 points of piercing damage. To me? Yes. Okay. Uh, plus 5 points of necrotic damage. 
Okay. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. If it's paralyzation, she's looped up. Do I? <laughs> you still take that. I need, still need the DC. Okay. Okay, you're fine. So the poison that's on the arrow does not mm. take effect. Uh, you feel it, but you're able to stave it off. Uh, okay. Blue Dot's going to try to take uh, its disadvantage shot. Wait, the Splicer Cloak doesn't is no longer no, active. Yeah, okay. it's not active anymore. All right. Nope. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, wow, these guys really like rolling this number. Um, so that is eight points of piercing damage. Okay. W- with three necrotic. Um, I need to see if you save from this poison if it will continue. Um, 16. Yeah, it, it's fine. Yeah, you again, uh, the poison does not take effect. Uh, half cover for Tilda. Yeah, that's not going to hit. Yeah, that's not going to hit. So two shots at Tilda from uh, Skellington Red, I guess, up here. Uh, but mm-hmm. it is not able to connect um, because you are situated behind a door too well. Uh, okay. Rain. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um... I think what we're going to do is um, <clears throat> so they seem to be taking pot shots. One right up on Tilda. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to use my action to go invisible. Mm-hmm. And then hey, so uh, you... using bonus action to move again. Neymar's <laughs> in there, right? And just hold. I'm not holding an action. I'm just there. Okay, you're just there. Okay, cool. Do you have a weapon out or anything? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I have. Um... Crossbow? Well, crossbow? I have my hand crossbow in one hand and, you know, dagger in the other. Right. Okay. You are... But, hmm? but you don't know that because she is invisible. We don't know that because we don't know <laughs> that because she's invisible, of course. Um, the room starts shaking. Um, I regret everything. <laughs> there uh and it it shakes for the good six seconds and then it stops momentarily oh god uh it is ronnie's turn okay i Um, guess t stands for tremors just flavor text she's just reminding herself you know to give a little flavor unstable air i'm sure it's nothing yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay um Ronnie, uh, for their bonus action, yep. uh, he's going to cast uh, Shield of Faith. Okay. Um, it's a shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting it a plus two bonus to AC for the duration. Uh, that would be rain. Uh, don't need to see, see you. Her. Okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. It just appears. So rain, you get plus two bonus to your AC. Um, I I have the Shield of Faith uh, description up, so I can ref- I'll refer to that whenever. Um, do you need, or start, should I say, do you want to? Um, use your reaction to take an attack against something. Oh, I would love to do that. Wonderful. Uh, do I have an angle? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, um, um. Hmm. It's kind of hard from this angle. I'd say they'd have, like, half cover. That's fair. 
Um, then so. voice of authority. Uh, Rain. Who, yeah, who are you going after? Um, this one, because it's probably the one that I can see easiest. I okay. imagine. Okay, uh, that will most definitely hit. Um, I'm just checking for things. Yeah, that will definitely mostly hit. Uh, you see it reel um, back after you shoot it in the face. It's so, e it's so elegant. <laughs> Alright, so that is going to be 35 points. Alright, great. Uh, and then... As an action, well, first of all, Ronnie's going to go ahead and uh, shuffle on out a little bit. going to go 15 feet out to start. Uh, 15. Um, can Ronnie see the things up here? Yes. Uh, and which one did Rain just... Uh, uh, the one closest to the edge, it? yes. All right. Uh, then we're going to toll the dead... Please make a wisdom save, I think. Hold on. I think it is a wisdom save. There you go. All it's right. wisdom. Uh, all right. Does not make it. Uh, so. I just realized they're undead. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it took as much as it should have. Oh, okay. So <laughs> at the very least, it took half damage. Um, yeah. Uh, that's because Mallory forgot. Um, but yeah, we're probably not going to do that in the future. We're just going to Sacred Flame. Uh, and then we're going to go... <laughs> it is a different type of save, though. 5, 10, 15. So since they're, if they were really dexterous, then uh, Toll the Dead would be more effective. Yeah. We shall see. Uh, right. Ronnie might do that next time. Uh, Ronnie's done. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright, so... Coming through the wall. Uh, this one looks a little different. So this one was uh, Clawy Clawy. This one was Staffy Staffy. Staff. Uh, this one <laughs> looks staffy. like uh, in life uh, a half blood wanty of some sort. Uh, if if in life, uh, but has a sword. So swordy swordy. Um, and okay. like. And legs. The other ones are more serpentine, right? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. This one has more of a, the snake head, okay. uh, as with uh, typical half bloods. Right, so, uh, I'm just saying, it's going to fly down. I just need to see how far. Can't see you. Um. Would you can't see me now because no. uh, attack. Do, 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 do. Sorry, wrestling jokes. All right. Uh... <laughs> you can't see me, John <laughs> Cena. Uh, okay. Um, the only person they could has a clear shot on as of now is Melanie. So, Displacer Cloak is still on cooldown. Because uh, it's not he, your turn yes. yet, right? Okay. I'll say he can't. See, he can see me. Oh, he can see you. Attack. Okay. Uh, then this is going to be. Um, he doesn't. He or she, no. Sh they don't know if Melody's that hard to hit yet because they've always seen the skeletons try to hit her. So, um, even. Okay, it's Rain. Uh, Rain, you have to displace your cloak though. Yeah. So you are. Yes. Uh, so, they are going to... Okay, uh, my lower one was in 18 on a die. I'd like to make him reroll one of those. Okay, uh, I assume we will reroll this one. <laughs> I rolled an 18 again. Oh, damn, I don't like these guys. <laughs> We're getting the DM more I... dice. <laughs> You're going to buy them shitty dice. I just took it out of the bag. Uh, 23 to hit. Or does some ice and dice and be like, so how, uh, even with your plus two AC? Yeah, I'm up to 21. Damn. Yeah. Um. 
And that is going to mean 9 points of piercing damage. Uh, they will try to do that again. So the Displacer Cloak is now off. I rolled another 18 on the die. Good. Damn. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, th this is only 3 piercing damage. And it will fly down over here. Alright. That is its turn. Melanie, you are you are up top. All right, displacer coke finally finally back up, and uh, so you said he you said it flew down. Yep. Is it like ground level? It is now ground level. Okay, I am gonna leave it to these guys because they don't have some flippy flappy nonsense right now. So um, I am going to. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of speed because I've got sixty feet. So I'm gonna land here. Okay, that's great. That way I'm not flanked by everybody. And I am going to uh I'm gonna attack the guy in front of me. So he needs to make a strength save. Alright, let me let's see if this happens. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh stats. No, that's not gonna happen. So he'll fall down, but let me let me uh, nice. let me allow him to take all this damage first. Does, do, do I just do I just knock him off the ledge? That'd be sweet. <laughs> hmm. I'll I'll say I, I'll give him the chance to hold on to the ledge, but give me a second. Ooh. Um. Not that Nolly isn't all already overpowered as fuck. Yeah. But shut her like save DC be based off of like a maneuver DC maybe for the storm fury knock prone. I mean we could talk about that. She and <laughs> she and Storm's Fury can have a conversation about that. <laughs> I don't even remember what my DC is for my maneuvers. If you only uh, use them to order right around my I don't time. use the ones with uh save very often. <laughs> well well I so I guess this the dice is um has off days and good days because it rolled a one. So yes, uh, yeet. <laughs> Does it go into the water? Yeah, it probably goes into the water. So yeet. Can skeletons swim? Probably not because they're bone. Don't know how. I that mean, works. I feel like it depends on could the person that they were in life swim? Probably. It was probably a snake person. Um, I mean, they would have very little buoyancy, but at the same time, they also have very little, like, anything. But so. bones are hollow, technically. And if the marrow and is gone out... It would also depend on the type of creature, as for, as for the bone density. Right. I mean, here's the thing. Also, generally, uh, skeletons don't have a voice box, but we all, you know, hear them go... Rawr, rawr, I, I, you know? I can't explain that. <laughs> so... Magic. Magic. Exactly. They're magic. They're magically so enlivened I, skeletons. So, just so you know, uh, normally this individual would have taken uh, 5d6 damage, but he landed in the water. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Um, Still not my problem anymore. But he's so. not your problem anymore. Uh, <laughs> would you like to do anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've still got two more attacks. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna move a little bit further. That's probably about all my movement okay. at that point. Um, and actually, no, it took 40. Anyway, anyway. Uh, I am going to use Commander Strike with one of my strikes and tell Rain to get to stabbing. Uh, well, I guess get to crossbow shooting that person in front of her. Kill. Kill. Uh, uh, and I'll whip it around and yeah. shoot at this guy. I'm disobeying orders halfway. <gasps> Which guy were you oh, hitting? Uh, the one in front of me. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna go for this guy up here so I can get that sweet, sweet six yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no one else there by the other guy. Okay. That should be a sack. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize there were seven of them now. Uh, um, actually, that's a miss. 
because uh, I shouldn't have had oh. the oh. advantage, so that is a two. Okay. It might not be a miss, but let me see that. Uh, it'd be a, a 13. 13. Yeah, Probably that's, a miss. That's, that's a miss. Okay. That is a miss. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to use my third attack. Something is a miss. So, I swear it's never happened to me before. <laughs> uh, you do connect. Uh, so that's 19. So, all right. You slash through its incorporeal body and it still takes damage. How magic. Because a wizard or a warlock or a sorcerer <laughs> or a necromancer or something did it. Okay. Uh, Melanie. Yeah. You do not feel good in this thing's presence. J just the way it's it's snaking around mm -hmm. you, it, 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 it does not feel good. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm going to have to ask you, uh, because Melanie doesn't wear any jewelry, right? Uh, no. Okay. I don't, like, I don't think I have any magic rings, and she doesn't really wear any jewelry, so. Uh, I'm just asking for, there's a, there's like a, there's like a thing, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it later. Mm -hmm, um... Mm -hmm. Um, does, uh, Melanie have a brooch on? A telepathic a brooch? brooch? Um, she might... yeah, I guess I do think I have one of those. I think you do, but... It's not touching skin, though. Does that matter? Um, it, it would be, like, hooked in my cloak. No, it, it doesn't matter, However, I know what the brooch is made of, and I don't think it will apply in this case. Okay. Okay. It's, it's a weird thing. Just, just I'll, I'll tell you about it later. Um, okay. Uh, you will take 25 points of necrotic damage. Do I get a, like, a save or anything? Nope. It's just this thing. Like, something about being in this thing's presence just freaks you the hell hell out and Damn. it's not good to be around <coughs> is it seem to be the one she's right next to or yes it's the one that she's exactly right next to like looking at this creature like just being in its oh we'll say aura <clears throat> does it does it make you feel good at all it this is it makes your skin crawl okay okay that sucks. Uh, it still needs to attack you, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's right. a disadvantage. Yeah, I, I do realize that. So this... This is... just probably won't do anything. I just don't want to get smacked for, like, 52 damage and then have, like, a death aura around me. Uh, 22 to hit? Uh, 22 is my AC. Okay. So it hits. Yeah. Um, I am going to use a lucky and make you reroll that. Okay. Um... Yeah, that won't hit. Alright, uh, second attack. Just nope. Try to keep my cloak up a little bit longer. And third attack. Uh, 23. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Um, alright, so the bite, so it tries to claw you once, uh, catches the edge of your displaced image, claw you a second time, catches the edge, and then goes in for a bite. Um... So that will be 17 points of piercing damage. Okay. And only three points of necrotic damage. Okay, okay. And I would like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. And you're fine. You, there's some, like, poison in its teeth. Like, like Komodo dragon almost, with the bacteria uh, in your teeth. Uh, but it's not, it's, it, it does not take hold within you. Um, the shadow staff fucker up over here is going to be like, oh, there's somebody new up here. I yep. wonder what I should do. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. 
It is going to... Hmm. How smart is this thing? Hmm. It's going to make two staff attacks at you. Um, okay. So ranged spell attacks. Uh, does this do disadvantage? I assume disadvantage as well. You no, hit me, so it bot. doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. One. Uh, 24 to hit. That hits. All right. Uh, this will be the same shadowiness that Tilda got hit with. Uh, eight points of necrotic. Okay. Seven points of cold damage. All right. And then the second shot goes wide. And then this Thank guy, yeah, this guy is going to float on down. Uh, can't see, but there are people down there. All right, gonna start making their way over there. Hover, 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 hover. All right, Zaitari. Uh, by the way, this staff guy is now ground level. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, let me. Some measure. No, nope, too far. Too far. Um, big bummer. Um, you could walk like five feet before you. <laughs> no, I know. I'm measuring from where I could walk. Um, without you know risking an attack of opportunity. But I'm just gonna do ah. it because I'm invisible. Um. So I need to get... Okay, um, if you're invisible, as long as they can't see you, they cannot take attack of, of opportunity. That's right. I always forget that. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I need to go right here. We're adjacent to rain. Whoop. So I'm going to walk over there. Uh, which I was right here. Oh yeah, I have more than enough movement. Um, <laughs> didn't think I was going to be able to do this, but there are enough things where uh, I can have some fun. And uh, cast uh, Steel Wind Strike. Um, so, <clears throat> actually, let me just let me make sure I have this incorrectly because I can have this repeat. Okay, yeah, that's great. I just wanted to make sure. So, yeah, I'm going to cast Steel Wind Strike uh, starting with we're going to go to the black one, the blue one, skeleton, skeleton, white one. Okay. So the black one first. Uh, let me make sure I can hit all those targets. I believe it's... Yep, five. There's exactly five things. Hooray! Alright. Alright. Uh, That's the first one should that against the black one. with advantage? Yes, because okay. I'm invisible. Oh, yes! I forgot. Oh, okay. Uh, so 38 for that guy. Okay. So blue one. Uh, blue one. <gasps> yep. 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 Uh, so that is a 72. All right. Uh, red skeleton. Red skeleton. Okay. Red skeleton. All right. That was still. That was still connect. Uh, blue skeleton. All right. Blue. Which I believe hasn't been touched yet. The red skeleton's up here. And then green. Well, green. I didn't even, oh, I mean, I didn't green's in the, green. the water, going, so it's yeah, who knows where it is at this point. Uh, um, and then the uh, white one. White one. Okay. Oh, another crit. Okay, sixty-three. Ah! Yes. All right. Okay, excellent. And you do you end up next to the white one now? Um, I'm going to choose to end No. God. Fuck that. Uh I will end my turn next to the red one. Okay. All right. So skeleton red. All right. Cool. Tell um it. Oh, uh, hold I need on. Hold both, on. Both actions. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um I would kind of give away my position. Um, but I could Hexblades curse something. Um, you might just save it until we fight the uh, 
Well, we might not have to fight that guy, so up to you. Well, if we have to fight him, that would be very unfortunate, considering we need him to uh, help yeah. us. Um, yeah, I don't want to do a Bardic Inspiration, because that'll give away my position. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm good. I shall end my turn. Okay. Tilda. Um. Noticing this guy, um. I presume coming towards me and Ronnie. I it, that would be a safe assumption. Yeah. Um. I will fly over to it, and like. On the like, I'm kind of I you know grip. Um, judgment tightly and I fly over and like on the way past I just try to whack it one okay um twack yes you you twack it I you, twack you twack it good. you twacked it good uh 14 flinches as it collides with his incorporeal head. Good. Okay. And, uh, has anybody been hit or hurt? <coughs> oh, yeah, Melanie has. <coughs> you see her withering? Fair enough. Um, I you shall would, do... You would think that Melanie looks like about a third of her regular self. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wow, that is that's intense. Hang on mm -hmm. a second. Um Um ba -ba 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 -ba. Damn it, why does it never Uh when you cast healing word at a higher level, you don't it, it's just uh 1d4 per level. It's 1d4 yeah. per, per level. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Typically. Okay. So yeah. that's three uh, charges and they all sucked. It's for the most part. Better than I was. <sighs> Sorry. No, you're good. I appreciate it. Um, and I will say, um, I know there's a lot going on up there, but I could use a little help back here. Uh, don't like it down here anyway. I mean, up here. Oh. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, uh, the skeleton... By the way, Melanie, you're still flying. Yes. Okay. Uh, this, uh, uh, this swim speed for a skeleton. But if you drop the spell, I am just on the ground. I'm on the ground, so. Good to know. I'm um, not going to get hurt if you drop it. Uh, but just wanted to let you know. So, it will take, so. Uh, you guys don't see the one that dropped down yet. Um, if you assume it's making its way. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> trying. Trying. <laughs> attempting to do so. Um, you... Whereabouts is that? Um, Over here. Door, by the way. Right okay. Here. Yeah. That where that green dot is. That's where they dropped. Cool. Um, this one is going to go here and. Oh, you're talking about the skeleton. Yeah, the skeleton. Um, you get an attack of opportunity, Atari, if you wish to take it because it don't see you. Uh, yes. Okay. I will absolutely do that. Um, moment. I have Warcaster, so I'm going to use Booming Blade. Okay. Hopefully, I have this in here correctly. We'll find out. I do. Okay. All right, so... No, so it takes... 27? Uh... 
to fresh it takes your... 27 initially okay. uh if it keeps moving then it takes 13 more all right so let me calculate that uh so uh 13 more it's 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 clinging but it, it looks like it's gonna be into bo it's gonna crumble into bone dust very soon damn um all right so we'll take what blue is your i always have to i always forget this melanie is your displacer up uh no, no? okay no it's gone all right uh it will take out a short sword and attempt to hack at you that does not hack at you that does not hack at you red one completely misses you because it's it's such bad s state doesn't mi okay so they just go <laughs> nothing <laughs> you're fine oh thank goodness uh rain kind of look up at the platform look back to so look at the platform then run this way go here and step step okay excellent thank you You successfully stabby stab. Uh, 35 as you stab it and it shrieks in pain. Um, and then I'll just uh, stab her again, I guess. Okay. Excellent. Stab again. You know, that was Hellfire. I'll just use the bonus action to get the auto 2d4 on. That's a four fire damage. Okay. Uh, it looks like it takes all of it. He has a little okay. burn. He has a little burn symbol next to it, next to its HP bar. <laughs> he did that fire attack. All right. The tremors start again. Um. I need to check something. All right. So. You're not gonna like me. Who, though, won't like all of us? So, so coming out from the water, its its entire body is in the water underneath the platform, but you do see its head at this point. Why? There is a giant snake, motherfucker, that pokes its head out of the water, and looks at you two. Ooh, we changed him. Ronnie's plan is changing. <laughs> Do we really like Theo this much, Tilda? Are you sure about this? Is this really gonna last? You could just go home. <laughs> Sorry, dear, I couldn't find it. You'll just have to live with your <laughs> crazy, faceless father. <laughs> I'm uh, sure it'll be fine. If you'd like, I could ask Rain to put him down for you. <laughs> Damn! It's gonna gun. It's gonna oh. go for Tilda. Cause of course it is. The person it can reach right now with its extended head. Motherfucker! <laughs> now, uh, is this a naga, or no, is it just it, a it, giant? It snake? looks like a giant. In all, in 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 simple terms, a giant boa constrictor. Oh, fucking fan, fucking tastic! <laughs> Uh, it will attempt to bite you first. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. Yeah, of course that hits. Okay. Don't mind me, I just need to, uh... Oh, that is really hard to see against this, these tiles. Uh, that is gonna be 20 points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would like you to roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Gulp, gulp. Uh, so that's minus 17 because of Can I... uh, the three points of things. So, uh, dexterity, yes, you said? Please. It's a save? Yes. Why can I never move? <sighs> it might be worth it. Yeah, I'm going to use my other divination roll, which is a 19 plus 3. Okay. For my tech save. You are 22. able to dodge out from its jaws as it yep. attempts to swallow you. Uh, it will attempt to now try to use the end of its tail to wrap around you. 
Of uh, course it will. Uh, he dodged the, the swallow, but he got hit by the womp. Yeah, it, it womps. Uh, that's a natural 19 on the die. This whole thing womps. Um, yes, I mean, 19 plus whatever I'm sure will hit me because 18 is my, uh, di- yeah, is my, uh, thing. AC, I can't think right now. <laughs> All right, uh, it will do... Uh, 23 points of bludgeoning damage. Motherfucker. And it will grapple you. You are currently restrained. Uh Uh-huh. That is its turn. It is now Ronnie's turn. I hate everything. Uh... One minute. Hold on. On a scale of 1 to 144, Mel looks like about a 66. So high. Sorry, okay. I can't get the black one uh, <laughs> because uh, you're unfortunately both in a 10 foot by 10 foot square. We understand. It, unless you uh, want to get rain, fire rained down upon you. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the uh, second... The um, twenty-three, twenty-three points of damage. Mm-hmm. I'm at thirty-seven out of ninety-two. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see. Do I Have fire storm or mass cure wounds? Have I ever told you guys about the time um, I went to see? Harry Potter and this uh, the Chamber of Secrets and mm-hmm. how I hid when the big basilisk snake <laughs> came. I pretended I needed to go to the bathroom and then I hid oh. <laughs> around the corner of the... I'm, I'm sorry. Next time I'll I make saw it... it twice in theaters, too. Next time I'll make it the Temple of Bunnies. And hid twice. Ooh. I would rather it be a temple of bunnies. It's horrifying. I mean... Uh, Moment. Uh, bless you? Alright, how about this? I'll replace this image with a giant fawn. It doesn't matter! (laughs) Okay! (laughs) Never mind that. I tried. Uh, just to be absolutely clear, um, this th- this square right here that yep. I'm kind of just yep. slightly moving for yes. illustration purposes uh, does, in fact, cover the head of the giant snake creature? Yes. Correct. Okay, great. Uh, it yeah. won't hit Tilda? No. Okay. Well, I am just asking the DM because... It's long enough to get you constricted on that side. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, Ronnie's gonna cast Firestorm. Okay, cool. Uh, so everything needs to make a dexterity saving throw, uh, DC 18. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start with, uh, Snake Boy. Well, Big Snake Boy. Yeah, that does, definitely doesn't make it. Um, so... Um, no, 51 yeah. damage in total? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, 51 yep. damage. Fire damage. Uh, also, to be clear, uh, this one that's next to Melanie, it's just, you know, there's fire raining down on either side of you. It does not hurt you. Yay! Uh, all right. Uh, sword, I think, makes it. It's 18... Right, DC 18? DC 19? Yes. DC 18. Okay. 18. All right. Uh, sword Save. makes it so 25 for half, I assume, right? Uh, yes. All right. All right. And then, um, uh, white definitely doesn't make it. So, uh, one, seven, six. And then red makes it. So, 
Twenty, uh, red decimates into bone ash. Uh, blue, blue makes sense. And he's swimming. So I'm going to say disadvantage on the dexterity check. Uh, but he is still like five feet underwater, technically. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, he doesn't make it. The water it. would still be really hot. The water would be really hot. That is true. Um, I just need to get his... Like half damage or something, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Um... Yeah, doesn't make it, so takes half damage because it's underwater. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that, that did a lot. That that did a lot. That did so much. Um, would Ronnie like to do a bonus action? Would Ronnie like to do a bonus action, Mallory? Sorry, I muted myself. Um, it can only be a cantrip, correct? Uh, yes. All right, then. Uh, he can't do anything. Um. Everything's in action for Ronnie. Um, so... He's like, see, it's kind of high, but... Yeah, there really aren't any enchantment cantrips. Except for friends, I think. It doesn't have any many. Um Why would it need to be enchantment? Uh because he has a uh thing where he can convert enchantment me uh spells of first level or higher. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's a not or higher into a bonus action. Mm. Um Yeah, so we're gonna Roddy's just going to back up again. Okay, sounds good. He uh, comes in, he comes out, and he's done. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, <laughs> like that's, a turtle. Like a turtle's head, you know? That's yep. uh, that's a totally viable... viable. Um, I can't get to either of you. Um, thing. Uh, strategy. Strategy, yeah. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll delete all of these now. Uh, Alright, so... Even on rain or chill... So. All right, rain. Uh, this thing is going to try to shoot you while uh, Snake has uh, things under control. Uh, uh, which one should it be? Uh, the sword wraith, who's taking out the long longbow again. Can't quite get to you in this turn, so. Uh, you, have you, have displacer you have your displacer. You have your displacer. All right, yep. Yeah. All right, so first shot does it. First shot, second shot, miss. I'm going to get right here um, for now. Uh, Melanie! Uh, so, let's see here. Melanie is going to take one attack against this thing in front of her. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Boom. You're right. It and, alright, alright, one more. And, uh, one more. Okay, one sec. Uh, mm -hmm. eh. Alright, uh, on the third strike, it dissipates. Uh, screaming uh, obscenities in snake tongue. Okay, okay. You're gonna look around and be like, uh, Wonder if that thing is gonna... Yeah! Oh, no. Jesus. I did not take, um... Uh... Concentration checks for fly. Give me oh, a second. Oh, it's okay. I'm landed, so. I know, but you know, if you wanted to fly True. off of there True. now, um, so give me a second. It was uh, twenty points for the first one. Okay, so that would have. That's fine. And twenty-three was. So it'll be eleven. You'd minimum. eleven. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're fine. We're good. <laughs> um, so, uh, Melanie is going to go ahead and action surge. Mm-hmm. And, uh, boop. So, yeah. Oh, before that, I'm getting a second wind. Okay. Uh, so, 18. Uh. All right. E. Four plus 14? Yep. Okay. All right. Um. Maybe. Come on. Select yourself. There we go. Plus 14. Uh, then I am going to poke this guy who is beside me. One, uh, two. All right, so hold on. Uh, who? That's blue. So blue. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. Um. All right, still up at thir- after the thirteen, and then eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, goes. Uh, is shattered into blown bone splinters on the second attack. Okay, I am going to fly over here and I uh, use my last attack on this guy and as I'm attacking I'm gonna yell do you think that's the guy we're here to see and point <laughs> at the giant snake thing that is like wrapped around Hilda uh, if I remember correctly, the one thing we're looking for is albino. Is the snake albino? No. This looks okay. like a typical giant uh, non-albino boa constrictor. Okay. The the thing was pale, so I thought maybe it was also kind of like sandy. Uh, and uh, that's my turn. I'm ac- I'm gonna go get a drink of water, so uh, my cloak is back up. Okay. And uh, I'm about half these. Okay, uh, this guy... Ronnie was trying to help. <laughs> this guy is his dead. Uh, this guy who is in between you guys... Will... I didn't want to select. I wanted to, to measure something. Okay. Uh, Tilda and Rain uh, get attacks of opportunity as this guy flies this way. Do I? Even though I'm restrained? Uh, let me restrained? check restrained. You might just have disadvantage. Yeah, you just have disadvantage. Yeah, you could take Words. it, but you'd be at... Hold on. Um, yeah. I imagine Tilda's not giving me advantage, so... Restraint, I'll use camp charge. bonus. Uh, I don't see... I don't see anything um, that doesn't say... Hold on. Uh, if you just have disadvantage on the attack rolls, you should be able to do it. I, I think she still provides you sneak attack as long as you, she is... She, she's still a threatening body, I assume. Yeah. So, I mean, if it was paralyzed, I would say... I'll use... No. Um, even so, I want to get advantage. I'm going to use uh, the true strike from Nymph. Okay. And, uh, so I'll get advantage anyways. Uh, so I get disadvantage. You say, right? <laughs> no. I'm gonna get that on the shirt. <laughs> it's Faye, right? <laughs> it's Faye, right? Unfortunately, Tilly, you're you do not connect. Uh, Nymph does connect. Um, you get the sneak attack. I uh, you yep. get the sneak attack. Okay. Uh, so that would be thirty. All right. Um, it will uh, lift its st- staff into the air. And there is a shadowy geyser um, in a 30-foot cone that emits out. Um, yeah, it's this is they take the 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 wraith is the the sword wraith is gonna have to take a make a save too. But this is like way. Is this a spell? Uh, this is. Is it? It it's not a spell. It's an ability. Fuck. Yeah. 
that it doesn't use spell components or anything like that. It's just in the act, one of its actions it can do. Um, all right, so I need a dexterity save. Well, Melanie, when she comes back, the sword wraith. Um, I so rarely get to counter spell. <laughs> Uh, Tilda, you'll have to do disadvantage on this and rain. Uh, so. Is it deck save? It is a deck save. Uh, I got half of that, anyways. Okay. And when. So I'll do the sword ray. I think, think that fails. Yes. That Tell fails. my husband I loved him. That fails, <sighs> and whenever Melanie comes back. All right, so um, that will be the time she rolls. I regret not using a luck more and more. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, you have lucky. You could make this stop. <laughs> Make it stop, Rain! <laughs> I think half, anyways. It's been nothing in the past. Okay, uh, this is in the same attack. Uh, so, that is going to be 45 damage in total. Um, 20 of For it... everyone? Yes. Well, anybody who doesn't save, we don't know if Melanie saved yet. Uh, so, tw this is 20 Fuck. necrotic damage and 25 cold damage. Uh, 20 necrotic and 25 cold, yeah, right? Yeah, so 45 okay, in total. So... Yep, yep, okay. All right, so I'm out. You're unconscious. Um, uh, Fly is now gone. Uh, Rain, you take half, so half would be... 22. 22. Okay, thank you for doing math. Uh, the Sword Wraith will also <laughs> uh, take um, 45. I think the Sword Wraith is... Yeah, the Sword Wraith is gone. It screams treacheries in Snake. Alright, you are currently unconscious. Right whoa, 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 what did I miss? I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. There was a cone of shadow and watery... Cold. <laughs> cold. That engulfed you. Okay. Oh, uh, indomitable! Yes. <laughs> no. Mm, uh, I so want to use a lock. Just say <laughs> Okay, you're go. fine. You only take 22 points of damage. <gasps> yeah. It was 45. Whew. Alright. Zaitari. Alright. Well, <clears throat> seeing as uh, Tilda is unconscious, mm -hmm. uh, with my bonus action, um, let me just check the range of this. 60 feet. I believe this will apply. Yep. Uh, we're going to do mass healing word. Just I mean, to... I can get Tilda up. Oh, no. We're going to do some mass healing word. Quite alright. Um... So, roll that uh, at third level, just to get her back up again. Uh, Is that so? The yes. Um, yeah, six creatures you can see uh, within range. So, that's everybody. All right, Melanie, Rain, and Tilda. Uh, so I'll mark that off, and then for my bonus action. I mean, sorry, my action. Uh, I'm going to do Eldritch Blast at um, the black ghost ghosty thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, that will connect uh, with its face. That will not connect. Oh, that should have been at advantage. Let me just roll that again. Yeah, sure. We'll take the... Okay, so 29. Alright, that, that both will ta uh, hit, but, yeah, both will hit. Um, I'm gonna take the the 8 that you had rolled. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 8. So 16, so 20, uh, 16, 27 points in total. Um, and that it will also scream snake-like obscenities and dissipate as well. Good. Uh, 
Uh, and then Zaitari is going to move a little bit just to make sure. <laughs> uh, and we're done. Okay. Uh, Tilda, you are currently restrained. Uh huh. Being crushed by a fucking giant boa constrictor. Hey, not at least you're not unconscious my... now. Not one of my actual nightmares at all. <sighs> um, but yes, at least I'm it? not uh, being... And it's just your aversion therapy. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I will cast command and I will say release! Okay. Uh, the actual saving throw is not 19. It's uh, like 12 or okay. something. Um, it's my cleric. It doesn't make it. Uh, it will. Wow. It will let you go. So you DC go. DC 15, actually. Okay. But yeah, it doesn't make it. It's 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 a it's a it's a, it's a really big shake. It doesn't have much in, the, in the wisdom. It just drops That's you. Figured. It drops you on the ground. <laughs> big dumb snake. Mm-hmm. I will fly away. <laughs> um, and then take out the wand of healing word, and I will cast it um, on uh, Melanie. Oh, uh, for command, doesn't that happen on uh, the creature's turn? Uh, I mean, it does, technically, but... You can see the target must succeed on wisdom or follow the command on its next turn. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I mean, we could say that I am. Yeah, you're still here. there. Um, but you, it seems to have. It. You think it's going to listen to you. It starts to relax. Yes. <laughs> you feel you. Feel, it relaxes. Um. Then, in any case, I will still grab my little wand and try to uh, send it Melanie's way. Oh, <sighs> um, let's see. That's Yeah, I'll take out the fresh wand <laughs> uh, that's not um, that hasn't been used yet and I will use um 44. Four charges. Actually, five, technically, I guess, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Thank you very much. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, group two, one, uh, the, the, you see the, uh, the skeleton has bobbed up to the surface, so. Oh boy. 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm gonna get rid of this corpse. <laughs> it's going to attempt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's going to attempt to hit uh, Melanie. Displace her cloak is up. Nope. Whoosh. 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 <laughs> that, it should have been two attacks, but whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Uh, it, that is its, its turn. It is now Rain's turn. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna stay right here and shoot this thing in the eyeball. Um, let's see, it's a kind of... Okay, wow. uh, 15. It's is big, enough to hit. Beca the, you're, are you hitting the snake? Yes. Or, oh, yeah. It has enough to hit because it is a giant fucking snake. So it doesn't really dodge well. Uh, uh, does she get sneak attack? Because I am technically... Y yes. Yep. yep. Uh, so that is 35... Uh, 36. 36, okay. All right. Um... Okay, excellent. Uh, would you like to do anything else? Uh, I will move... Uh, 
If I get an attack of opportunity, it happens. Yeah, okay. Uh, it will try to bite you because it has the other end. Yeah, that's prm, uh, it's a bite. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Not hit. Okay. All right. It, it, it releases Tilda and ducks back into the water. I think that's the only thing it can do. Uh, you do, you do, is this, is this the only thing in your window? Uh, I guess it's a drop command, the target drops yeah, whatever it drops. it's holding and then ends, ends its, its turn. turn. Okay, okay, it drops. Yeah. Alright, its turn is now ended. Alright, uh, Ronnie will poke back out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and we're going to do a uh, Mass Cure Wounds, since everybody seems to be needing that. Uh, let me just that real quick. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be 3d8. It's going to be 60 feet. Yep. Plus, I think his wisdom is a plus five. I think so too. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, everybody here. Wow, twenty six. Nice. Oh. Saitari doesn't need it. She has not taken any damage. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's fine. I think it has to be that you can see. I'm oh no, it's just your choice. It doesn't matter. Um. All right. And we are going to do another voice of authority. Um, Melanie or Rain. Uh, let's go with Rain. You know, get that sneak attack damage. Uh, would you like to use your reaction to make a weapon attack against yes, the giant? I would. Please go ahead. Well, it's the giant stick is not in my range, right? It would have to be against Skelly. Well, Blood. you have your hand crossbow out, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I... Oh, and Tilda's still next to him, right? Because it's yeah. still her turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, I think so is Melanie, because it's adjacent to the head. Oh, that's yep. true. All right, let's guess. just break it. There. Double sneak attack that's damage tough. for that, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Auto crit. Okay, uh, that, definitely, that definitely hits. Um... So that's a thirty. Kill it. Uh, and that is all Ronnie can do. Okay, excellent. Ronnie will stay where he is instead of moving back into the tunnel. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, Sword Wraith is dead. Melanie. You're muted. Unless she's not there. <gasps> Le gasp. Which means she didn't heal yet. Lynn? Lynn, come back. We miss you. Lynn, come back. Lenny, come back. <laughs> you can be da -da 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 <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember those lyrics right now. It's actually a really good cover of that. Oh, Darren, have you uh have you found roses yet? Uh, I only have three so far. I got I grabbed the red and yellow from a friend, so I'm right. I'm really I'm trying to like populate them right now. They're okay. They're not. They they've given me one hybrid so far. So far. Oh, nice. So far. Uh, I went to somebody else's island to sell turnips for a good price, and they had um, roses in their shop, so oh, I got nice. ten each of red and white, but I don't have any yellow. Yeah, they grow kind of slow. They do. My tulips finally finished, though. 
And it's raining here, so I don't have to water my insane amount of flowers. Yeah, same here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you healed 26 hit points. Oh, okay, cool. And then is your I, turn. Uh, I heard the alarm, like, bing. Like a door or a window got opened. I didn't think Kelly was home yet, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it was Kelly. Mm. Uh, I just hadn't gotten his text saying he was on his way home. Uh, so we've got perp, uh, Giant snake. What's the other secondary color? Green boy and giant snake boy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a swipe at green boy. Okay. Uh... Rain already used her reaction this turn, so. Rain did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Green you boy. have an advantage, though, because they're flying. Green boy. Mm-hmm. All right. You crack green boy's skull. Green boy is still up. Uh... Green boy is still up. Another chip of its skull falls down. I am going to... Uh, is my flight still up? No. Because I went unconscious. Uh, yeah, you do have advantage on your attack rolls. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and hit those two again. So... Okay, they didn't crit. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... And try to kind of get its attention away from where Tilda is. Okay, uh, uh, just so here. you know, its entire body is kind of submerged. The only thing you do see is its head. Oh, never yeah. mind. I'm just going to stay over here by the head spot then. Okay. Uh, and I did, that was two attacks, so uh, there's one more on Green Boy. Okay, uh, 18. Uh, Green Boy is still up. Damn. Am I taught him a lesson yet? No, not yet. Like the great Betty White says, uh, it's, he's like a pussy. He could take a pounding. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, if that is your turn, uh, it, yeah, that, I'm good. that thing's dead. And it's Zytari's turn. Uh, one moment. I'm probably just going to Eldritch Blast this thing. Um... How bad is the skeleton looking? Uh, he's looking pretty worst for wear. Maybe a good, like, a solid hit from Melanie probably could take it down. Maybe one or two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. I'm just taking a look at my options really quick. Would we like more healing? Yes, please. Okay, I will uh, mask your wounds once again. Or, not mask your wounds, sorry. Mass healing word once again. I'm I'm max. <laughs> Don't need to. Uh, please heal nine points. For those who need it, Melanie, Tilda. And then I'm going to move a little bit here, and I will, uh, with my action, did it spell off? Um, start doing some Eldritch Blast. We're going to start with the skeleton. Okay. Uh, seven. Yep, it is still up. Oh, yep. you, I, I'm very lucky the people I'm making masks for are not allergic to cats. Ooh, nice crit. 19. Uh, yeah, uh, that brings it down. Sweet. Alright, then I'm going to shift the last bolt to, um, uh, you know, big snakey boy. Big snakey boy, okay. The biggest danger noodle. Alright. Mm-hmm. 13. All right. Poor, poor Melanie's over here getting licked by it. <laughs> uh, and that is my turn. That's how they smell. Uh, Tilda. I will fly away! Okay. <laughs> um, it's still technically in uh, its reach. Technically. Uh, it will try to attempt to bite you. I but- will use my action... To disengage, and I will fly away! Okay, it does not bite you. 
All right. Uh, skeleton. And with my bonus action. Oh, okay. I will. Um. Cast some healing, another healing word at Melanie. Just one charge. You're probably lower than I am now. I'm at 119. I mean, I'm always lower than you are. Like, that's well, just how yeah, it is. That's just how it is. Uh, it is Rain's turn. I'm gonna hippity hop you over here. I said a hip hop, a hip, yeah, a hip into the hip. French hip, Fry hip, has hated me, rocking. like, for weeks because I keep on modeling him in, like, cold <laughs> I forgot I have this, but I'm gonna use my, uh, fainting, uh, attack. Uh, like, yeah. Can I get one of ones for a short rest? I should use those first. Uh, and get advantage. And smack that. Where's my crats, man? 33. Okay. Alright, that's me. Uh, it's going to try to... It's going to disengage. <laughs> <laughs> and get the going. Go ahead, and, run away. And get, hey, try to get the hey, fuck boy. out. Melanie, that hey, doesn't matter boy. for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, you could, yeah. Speed to zero! Okay, uh, that's 16. <laughs> it is very sad. It's you knock it in the head real good. Huh? You knock it in the head real good, I Melanie. Did. Just I give it that that skull smack. Mm -hmm. Now it's gonna crit on me. <laughs> well, didn't it technically try to disengage? Yeah, it in technically me? tried to disengage. Oh, so yeah. Okay. Definitely, definitely. It is Ronnie's turn. All right, Ronnie. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Let me look at Ronnie's spells again. Um. Just to, you know, maximize the action economy here. Um, oh, wait, no. Melody just used the reaction. Uh, yeah, no, so we're not going to do that. I just got my back. Um, oh, you did? Okay. Do you need turn. healing? No. I'm Damn. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get it this turn anyways. I need healing. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't make a weapon attack against a <laughs> snake. I could wow. throw my hammer real good. No, I know. It's fine. I'm still going to give you healing. Uh, so we're going to do a healing word at uh, third level. Uh, let me just... That's I'm sorry, 34. just looks at Zelda and then heals Rain, who is not hurt at all. <laughs> uh, so 15 hit points. Thank you. Uh, and then... Maybe gonna... I won't be taken out by a cone of shadowy cold now. Yeah, we'll toll the dead against the big snake. Uh, please. Oh, make was it a... not the was the was it not the dead shadow guy that cone of cold at us? Yes, it was. I'm just oh. wisdom save. Wisdom save. <sighs> it doesn't make its wisdom save. All right, take eighteen points of necrotic damage. All right, eighteen. All right, excellent. We're all going to have snake skin belts. Melanie! I am going to whap. Okay, go ahead and whap. Whap. Uh, uh, does Rain... Rain used her reaction already? Uh, I have not. Whap on my behalf. Uh, yeah, nice. it, 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 it looks very surprised, and then oh. you get it in the jugular, and then it floats up, belly up, well, head up. The rest of it is underneath the platform. I cannot even imagine the amount of blood this thing is spilling right now. <laughs> but it's in the water, so we really don't need to imagine. I don't know, I feel like rain is definitely 
uh, just bit. soaked in red. Well, the good thing is that the the oil kind of lets it like you know slick off. So that's Ugh. true. Just shake off like a golden retriever. Um, <laughs> uh, we are out of combat. Uh, I really hope that wasn't like uh, his pet or something. You know, that was um, uncomfortable, but. Uh, I hope that doesn't count against us in the long run. Uh, I guess that explains why Leona has leash laws. If your pet's not leashed, it's going to cause trouble and get slaughtered by a pack of adventurers. I feel like this is a little bit different, just from the sheer size. I don't... But, you know, you're close. It's... The, the, yeah, you got a good point. Okay. So, uh... Did we want to look around at other things? Did we need to take a short break? What did uh, what did we need to do from here? I think we should check out those doors. See, uh, maybe shut them. Actually, if we're gonna rest. Do we feel like we want to rest, or do we want to move on? Um. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. yeah. has. Uh, oh no, she does not have catnap right now. She has a mass healing word, so we would have to take the hour. I would prefer to rest. Um, but fun. we should keep an eye out because those things, there's, the wraiths just phased through the wall. So how many uh, girlfriends did this guy have? Four. Three. And we've seen three? Three. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the giant snake was one. We don't I thought, know. I thought it was three. Mm, I th really thought it was four. Yeah, I'm okay. remembering four as well. And if you have four, chances are you get a couple side pieces that no one knows about. <laughs> I glance at Rain. <laughs> uh, so I've heard... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a trap door in the ceiling, right? No, or was it just these doors over here? It was those doors over there. Okay. I can keep an eye out on things. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I can check and make sure those doors aren't, uh, you know, not a sleeping basilisk in the next room or anything. I'll go climb up there. Check out the rooms. Doors that came through. I'm just slumped against the wall. <laughs> like, ow. I, my ribs are bruised. <laughs> so it's fine. It's not any worse than more in a corset right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you're wearing a corset on, t you know, and you're getting squeezed by a giant boa constrictor, <laughs> I I'd say that's worse. <laughs> than just yeah. wearing the corset. I'd say the giant bow constrictor is probably a little bit worse than a corset, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. This door was uh, open? Yep, they're open. Yeah. I want to just peek through the, what I see, what I see, pretty much. Yeah, sure. Uh, you see a room full of snake people statues, and there is a doorway at the end of this corridor looks like a the top of a staircase. And I'm talking to Ronnie, kind of like, yeah, you know, and I say, did somebody say, was Theo really worth it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine going back? Oh, sorry, dearest, but, you know, it was a choice between your father and your wife. And as your wife, I made the decision to save my own life. Do you still love me? Uh, I would say yes. <laughs> yes, that was the smart decision, because now I have my wife who is still alive, and I have to deal with my now crazy... <laughs> uh, uh, and I don't have to deal with my... Uh, dead wife and just my insane faceless father. Can you ever look at me the same again? 
Are you sure you won't resent me? Ten years on. Ow. Uh, Melanie, what are you doing during your time? Just taking a taking a breather. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna take out the snake statues, but other than that, I'm just gonna keep a watch. You okay. Know, make sure. Uh, but I like your little Melanie. All right. So Zaitari and Rain, you're checking up out there. Uh. Melanie and I, I rode for Ronnie uh, and Tilda. Why don't you guys roll perception checks for me? Oh, goody. I'm, like, I'm actively keeping, like, uh, oh, this is just, like, in the media moment. Yeah, just like, in the media. I'm not even taking a shot. Yeah, they're, they're just, like, you know, they're, they're, they're looking around as they're, like, kind of sitting, chatting. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to say my passive perception is 23. Okay. Um, um, just throwing that out there because I'm... Honestly, I don't think Tilda's really looking around right now, like okay. actively. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, so two of the incorporeal individuals that you fought kind of were kind of faceless, even though they had like distinct wavy snake like shapes. Um, uh -huh. the one wielding the sword looked more put together than the rest of them like actually having features um mm -hmm. you can probably you'd probably notice at this point looking at still some of the standing statues that she hold on I gotta get my she looks like this one uh huh which one? Which one? Yeah, this one, one in the place. corner, the green one. Hmm. I glance over at that statue. Does it look like it's uh doing anything? No. Um. But okay. you you make that note that that stat that that wraith looked like that statue. Um. The remaining statues, the ones that they're still intact, are all female. That was uh, Ronnie's perception check. Yeah, he knows. Well, it certainly too. wasn't Saitari's. <laughs> no. No. Um. Um, so the ones that look still intact all look female? They're all female serpent types. So mm. we're seeing one. Is this one intact or is it broken the enough to be considered uh the head's fallen off but you can probably like tell that it was a female depiction at some point okay this one's definitely intact as is this one is everyone else seeing what i'm seeing when looking at this one that it looked like a lot like the white the white one mm -hmm. yeah well, I was going to say it looks a lot like um, a Medusa, but now that you say that, yes. And this one's holding a staff, so we've got one, two, three. Are those the only three intact statues? Yeah, the other oh, four looks like thing. they've... Uh, and that one looks like... That one looks male. Okay. Oh, so the other male. five are uh, broken? Are broken broken. If you want to do, like, an investigation after you take a rest, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, um, yeah I will do that. the statues but... first. Um, I will do that, but just let, um, I know Rain is, yeah. you know, doing stuff um, in the interim. So... Why don't you guys give me a perception check who's ever t checking out the statues above? Um, just to... Perception. Yeah, just taking a look at them. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it too. So. All right. Um, the highest number was first. Okay, I'm just yeah. back to normal for everything there. All right. So. Um, these are all. All right. So Zaitari, they. Why do you have advantage on perception? I cast enhance ability on myself. Oh, okay. Um, so just at a, 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 a glance, they are all depicting uh, snake people. Um, Rain, you know this, and since you guys in the past have fought your fair share of Wanti, so you've, you've encountered an abomination, you've countered pure bloods, you've seen a couple of half-bloods. 
These don't look like any of these. Um, they're... They almost look more like, and let me see if I can grab a picture of an example. Um, they all look more oh. like... <laughs> <laughs> These Sneepo don't look accurate. They all look more like this. So not so much like a snake head but kind of more like a rep a general reptilian head. Still has hmm. the slower snake body, but... A little more lizardy kind of, half gecko kind of... Exactly. Thing. Like, definitely not, like, snake head-ish. Definitely, like, definitely more, I'd say, monitor lizard-ish, gecko-ish. Yeah, you're... Yeah. Do they, uh, I know this is just kind of like a representative picture, do the ones that, uh, that the statues have, like, um, armor or, or weapons or anything like that? Um, they're typically dressed in, like, this breastplate type of deal, uh, you see on this representative picture. Uh, instead of the triton, uh, uh, not the triton, uh, the trident, the trident, instead of the trident, they do have, like, scimitars and shields. Okay. Um, they all look like they are depicting, um, like, a general, f uh, the same figure, like, you know, like, the terracotta statues you'd find in China that were buried. They're, they look pretty much all the same. What do you think, Zaitari? These don't look like any of the ones we've run into before. Some, something older? Uh, probably whatever this, uh, I can't, uh, I can't say his name. Uh, the creature that we're trying to ally ourselves with made, if I'd have any guess. Probably, maybe a show of power, that kind of thing. Guardians and death and all that. Hopefully they stay statues. Okay, so you guys are, are checking that out. Are they going to short rest? I'm short resting, I'm just... Yeah, you guys are keeping watch, yeah. pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything that'll come back, so. Okay. Um, so the rest of you are doing your short rest. Um, did you guys want to take a closer look at the statues? Uh, yeah. Uh, once we're, uh, once I'm fully rested and... I'd like to also uh, do an arcane recovery while I'm resting. Mm -hmm. um, so let me just. <sighs> Motherfucker. Okay. Um, which ones are you checking out first? I'm sticking close by as they're investigating. I'm not gonna let anyone get jumped alone. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Ronnie really gets anything back on a short rest. Um... He didn't use his channel divinities, um, and he took no damage, so he can also just keep watch, in general, um, and look over stuff. Okay. Uh, I figured we should start with this green one. It was the most obvious. <laughs> yeah. It's close. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, that's what eventually Tilda will kind of like push herself up uh, with her broom and like kind of just start limping over. Okay. 
Um, roll an investigation check for me. Uh, I'll roll one for Ronnie, just for shiggles. Okay. Yeah, though. No. Ronnie's like, well, it looks like a snake. <laughs> Definitely approach. rocks. It's a rock. <laughs> it's made out of rock. <laughs> um, uh, Tilda, it's, so, obviously, very clearly the sword wraith that you had encountered uh, in the previous this recent encounter. Mm -hmm. um, you do notice there are carvings uh, behind this uh, snake woman. Um, it looks like there is a short depiction of her life, almost. Um, you see a, a, a carving of this person, probably her, a younger version of herself, uh, being trained in the way of the sword. And then there is a panel showing that she is leading uh, battalions. Um, there is also a panel showing um, somebody, uh, a, another individual, uh, appears to be male, appears to be... A depiction of that guy over there um, taking interest in her uh, another panel showing um, in so many words him snake sexing her no I was say, they fuck no, him? no no him <laughs> him changing her to suit his tastes Mm. Ew. Hot. Creepy. Uh, love the love it. Love it. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> uh like like in, in one depiction she looks you like your uh she clearly looks wanty, but in another depiction she looks more like his species. Mm. Yeah. Um and then the last panel is her being uh, buried um, in death. In death or in life? Well, oh, in, 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 in life, actually. Life that, yeah. yeah. Becomes death because. Yeah. Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, she, her name um, appears to be. Actually, this is a long one. Uh, oh boy! So many S's. A T. Oh, that's not it. That's just I just mashed words together. Uh, good job. Because we need two S's at the beginning of all snake names. Uh, yes, oh, they are yeah. one T. They follow a theme. Your theme is. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Um, I'll kind of look around at all of them, uh, including the ruined statues, to see if I can see uh, any other interesting uh, backstories or names. All right. All right. Sure. Um, so for... Well, we'll start with the ones that are intact first. Uh, for this one... Uh, this one was ah uh, Sute. Uh, this one was Sute. Uh, I thought you were just gonna say this one was Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, there's then. not okay. two S's on the front. It's Sue. <laughs> Sue. No, uh -huh. it's yeah. Suey. <laughs> it's actually a piggy one too. Yeah, I know. Mm, um ins so instead of so the one that you had previously met l looked at w looked like a commander in some type of army um uh -huh. this one looks like it was more raised in a temple uh this mm -hmm. one was actually a pure blood it looked like at one point um mm -hmm. 
raised in the temple, uh, depicting her doing a lot of uh, training in the martial arts, um, conquering her enemies, uh, attaining actually a really high status uh, despite her pure-blooded nature, her pure-blooded pure uh, caste. Uh, eventually mm -hmm. catching the eye of uh, that individual over there, um, changing her into more of the uh, snake-like appearance that he'd like her to be. Um, yeah. You see that instead of legs, she now sported that long snake tail. Um, and same story... Uh, like, the last person was buried in here to watch over him. Mm -hmm. um, if we go over here uh, to the person with the staff, uh, this one was uh, Yastly. Uh, practitioner looks like she was a half-blood. Uh, who was in, um, who studied in the arcane arts, um, very diligently in the arcane arts, uh, rose up through the ranks, um, accomplished many great, uh, things uh, of arcane nature, it looked like. She looks like she has stacks of books in front of her, and she has, like, this epiphany, like, um, carving in the back of the wall, uh, and... Same story as the others. <laughs> hmm. So that was yes, yes. Have I ever heard of that name? Um, roll history check. Uh, give me a second. There we go. You have not. Um, this probably happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and. Before you came, before you came here, you didn't even know about the Saruk Empire. Sure, so this yeah. probably happened during that time, many, many, many eons ago. Right. Okay. All right. Um, then we can go to the others. Uh, I I'll just list them off. I was about to say you don't have to tell me like every yeah. little detail. Uh, it's just uh, if there's anything. Yeah. That they all have in common, other than that they were. Um, uh, what they all have in, alive. What they all have in common is they look like they caught the fancy of this individual at some point in their life, and he and, changed uh, them. Yeah, I was yeah. Just saying, he uh, molded them to suit his tastes. Yep, and then they got buried in here. But there are eight yeah. of them in total. Um, <laughs> do they have? Um. Do either of, do any of the uh, broken statues have like? Uh, are there more spellcasters? Are there more priests? Are there more fighters? Um. So, uh, of the ones that you see currently, uh, there looks like there was a, a dancer. Um. There looks like there was a. Um. A courtesan of some sort. Uh, there looks like there was a fortune teller, a, and there's one, um, one of the, this broken one right here. Uh, it mm -hmm. looks like this one was of royal stature. Um, it, clearly the depictions places her higher than the rest of them. Um, Ooh. And the depictions also so show that she was uh, she was not Wanti. She was Saruk. Um, oh, yeah. She is the only then, one that's Saruk. Um, approaching this guy. Mm -hmm. Does he have any sort of? Uh, Um, scribbles behind him or yes words on a plaque you know well he his 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 carvings are grander than all eight of them combined sure 
Of um, course. He, this, he, behind him is the great scene of a large empire, um, him leading armies, him guiding his people through broken worlds to survive. Uh, there's one panel where it looks like he goes to another world of some sort. Um, there is a carving of a sort of like the depiction of Ouroboros, the never ending snake. Um, it looks like that, except it's broken into several pieces. And one of the pieces is, um, one of the pieces is in another panel. And that piece looks like it's grown into another being. And he looks like he's talking to that being. And that being seems to bestow him with something. Um, there's like an enlightened type of uh, image. Like the little um, like starburst image you get for wow or yay mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Doubled up. Yeah, sort of. Almost. You could see that. Yeah. Um, it looks like he does travel somewhere else. Somewhere with a lot of fire. Um, you're not sure if it's a plane of fire. Could be the abyss. Could be the nine hells. Something that, mm -hmm. somewhere that's pretty hot. And okay. it looks like he's fighting a lot of... Him and his people are fighting some type of other lizard folk. Uh, they look like they have like large crests on their head uh, of some sort. Kind of like how the Triceratops had that like bony plate in the back of their head. Um, uh -huh. And it looks like th his people and him are being chased off at that point. And the, mm. the, the Triceratops looking folk look really angry and then eventually there's a depiction of uh the burial mound and him being put in it hmm okay um so going back to um these guys i don't know if you uh, Mel and Ronnie have been looking at everything with me, or just... Yeah, I've been tagging along after you to make sure that none of these come alive and kill you. Right, right. Yeah, Ronnie would be doing the same. Appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. So, I don't need to tell you what we've seen. No, I was here. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty interesting scenes. Oh, it's Inconvenient. It's like it knows. <laughs> um. DM. Yeah, yes. Could I, um, maybe hang on? Mm -hmm. Uh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Mm. I know, me too. Uh, no, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting real tired. The past two days uh, with work have been like. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, you. We can. I've been doing nine hours. We can pretty much. Oh. We can probably stop pretty soon. A bunch of us sound kind of pretty tired, and you know, Ronnie should. You know, Kay should be here for the next next couple of parts. Hmm. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to cast, um, Levitate. Oh, oh, wait, no, I'm not. Don't have it prepared. So I'm going to cast Fly on both Melanie and Brawny to get them up here. Okay. Uh, I just wanted I to will... mention one more thing. So you, you have to upcast us to do that? Yes. Right. I just um, want... One of us could just carry the other one. Ronnie could also cloak, um, cloak of the mountain bank. Poof, poof. And don't we have a rope of something? I don't know. Oh, we have the 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 yeah. DM, what were you gonna say before we cut you off? Um. Yeah. So when you were taking a look at the statue right here, it's 
you know, the largest statue, the most opulent. Um, you notice that its eyes are made out of rubies. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, maybe we could try to loot it on the way out. <laughs> sure. That seems like a good idea. You tried to put Rain off for a little while. Uh, but yeah, if you want, instead of upcasting that, Ronnie can just. I mean, I have up. a fourth level. I I have, I have spell slots, guys. I also yeah. use arcane recovery to get back a couple. Okay, all right. But that's fine. I mean, I'm just thinking like if we have more combat. But you can you can use it. I'm not going to stop you. I will fly. Like an eagle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the sea. To the sea. <laughs> yep. Yeah, with that arcane recovery, I now have all of my spell slots back. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I'll just use a fourth level to get you both up there. Saitari oh, used a surprising well, amount of spell slots. On it. Hour or ten minutes? Um, hang on. It's ten minutes. Right. Give me a second. Uh, ten minutes. Okay. Actually, wait. I do have uh, one ding on my uh, spell slots that I for my first level spell slots that I forgot to write down because I used a shield and I used command. So. so sourdough's ready to make bread yet? Do you have a name for the sourdough? Um, bread. Not yet. It's almost bread. Yeah, no, not, <laughs> not yet. I want to do something uh, D and D related. Um, I was talking to Heather about it, and she. Uh... How is Heather? Uh, she says she's fine. Uh, she really likes her new apartment. She started an herb garden on her porch. Ooh, nice. Um. She suggested bread ooze, like a red ooze, <laughs> but bread. Um, and then I said, what about a bread holder? It's like a beholder, mm. but bread. Um, so we just kind of bounced back and forth on I like, that. I feel like bra holder or bra holder would probably be closer to... Because yeah. bread holder sounds like a hand that holds bread. Yeah, I know. That's why I was <laughs> but, like... you know, bra holder doesn't, also does not sound like... Yeah, it's, it yeah that's like why I thought, ooze. like... You know, <laughs> bread ooze didn't really work either. Brews. Um, oh, wait, yeah. that's already a word. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. It does not sound appetizing. No. But, uh, Darren, I do want to ask you, how long, like, when you feed your starter, how long does it take for it to, like, double? It takes a couple hours only, really. Um, for okay. me, yeah, it depends on how much I used the previous day, but it doesn't take just a couple hours. Um... I... Mine seems to take like a while. Hmm. Um, I put it near the heater, it, or you can put it like what, oh. or if you're like if your if your oven doesn't have a proofing setting, like a lot of ovens, um, I think like uh, Chef John said, you can put the oven light on. And yeah, I, it in there. what I did when I was starting it out was I put it like on the top of my oven, right under the lamp that's under the microwave. But I think what I'll do is, like, I'll set up a box so that it's not right on the radiator, but, like, close enough to it where it's warm. Yeah, I have so. mine near, the, like, I have a floor heater, so I just put it, it's close to my desk, so I put it, like, in the alcove of my desk, and mm -hmm. it reacts pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, 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 what's, uh, what, yeah, we'll meet next week. Um, that's all the information you get from these statues. <laughs> If you want me to okay. send names and details about their life, I do have it, so... Um, no, that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we'll, I'll see some of you guys tomorrow. Um, yep. I don't know if I'm up for games yet. Um, uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. next week, uh, it's 24th, still in quarantine, so... Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> might be done with my overtime. At the, well, that would be the last day of my overtime, maybe. I was told that we weren't going to have it next week, and then they took that back. Oh. <laughs> because next, well, next week's pay week, oh. and so we always have a higher call volume. I understand, but at the same time, it's kind of a bummer, because I was like, oh, finally. And Kelly's like, it's only five hours. And I was like, yeah, but it's 
it's still it's still a lot it's like long. when it's it's because it's like well you know your day is supposed Ro. to end and it's like oh no that's yeah right. it's not over yet yeah Ugh. 